you ask me to fund the needs of impoverished Italians, entirely from impoverished Italians. I'm giving you an order, Mother. The life and works of St. Francis Xavier Cabrini on the big screen. Next week, a film will debut showcasing her mission, which has now spread around the world. I recently spoke with the lead actress who played Cabrini, Cristiana Delana, about taking on such an iconic role. Cristiana, it's so great to be with you, especially around the legacy of this beautiful saint for us. Um, take us back a little bit about how you found out about this role and, and the legacy, why the legacy is so meaningful for you. So um, I really did find out about her uh, very much through being offered the role. I started researching about her a lot and realized that she was a wonderful, powerful woman that I should have known about and people should know about. Um, and the fact that now we have a story about her um, that is based on, on, on true facts of her life and it isn't just the, the product of, of someone's... Um, um, imagination mm -hmm. and it isn't just um, dramatized for entertainment but it's actually uh, you know a meaningful story and it has historical true facts in it you know it makes it even more powerful and more important because it's true events um, yes. and, and I just believe that, uh, that the you know Cabrini's legacy should just be very proud because finally a story about her is out in the world and people can talk about her, a discussion can be open um, about who she was and what she did. Um, How do you prepare to play a saint? What kind of a preparation goes into not just a character, but someone that by many accounts uh, has been attributed miracles and all kind of uh, <laughs> supernatural realities? <laughs> we never really um, uh, address that in the sense that we want her to be very human. Mm -hmm. You don't become a saint because you are a saint. You become a saint because you become one, hmm. because you do it with your actions. She was very human in the sense that she um, did heroic acts and our, all her deeds were are things that we can do nowadays. So she was an example for people. Um, Obviously, the fact that you know the the fact that she's also at, miracles have been um, attributed to her makes her obviously a very important religious figure for all those who believe. But she's also someone who, um, not necessarily Catholic or Christian people, uh, can relate to. They, they can relate to her. Everyone can relate to her, and um, and how special she was because she understood the importance of. Uh, of you know being a community and the responsibility towards our neighbor which is a very christian message yes but it's a very um human message um, so everyone can relate to that what kind of challenges did you face though in playing uh, mother cabrini what was there anything that was a particular roadblock that you had to overcome right now what i can what i remember is the first scene when i see victoria for the first time we meet for the first time in the slums of new york and she uh, you know and I, I i i'm already beginning my mission the very moment i i arrive in new york um i remember that was a little difficult just because it was the very first one we shot was there a, a scene that you thought was iconic to the mother cabrini that you got to know in playing her well, one of my favorite scenes is the uh, Senate speech. I prepared for that a lot. Mm. I remember recording myself sometimes to just see what it might look like. Um, um, I was, ve I felt very emotional all throughout the entire day of shooting. And you normally, like you start with a first very emotional take and then it becomes a little bit more, you know, you get more comfortable in it. Whereas for me, it was the whole day was very, the whole thing was very, um, Again, very emotional, very powerful. I felt empowered by those words, and I felt I was her. I was very much her. Um, so I, I, I just think that's that's probably one of my favorite ones, along with all the scenes that I played with David Morse. Mm. Um, the, um, the opposition that we had, it was, um, it really helped the story. Really helped build the character and the whole story. Um, 
first of all, he's he's a wonderful actor, and then we became really good friends because he's a wonderful human being as well. This movie, it's launching on International Women's Day. What about Mother Cabrini is so important for women around the world to emulate, to follow, to imitate in some ways? Her relentlessness, um, her you know, strong will, and and believing that she could achieve uh, those things, and the self confidence. You know, she always said, "Begin the mission; the means will come." I quote that line to this day. After we shot that in 2021, the film was, you know, is three is already, um, you know, it's been shot for a long time ago now. <laughs> um, so uh, I just think that they should see her as an example in that sense. And we have many examples of that. And why not having a nun as well, you know, to kind of, you know, break that stereotype of, of woman that if she wears a habit, she's not capable of capable of those things, but only praying. No, she was, you know, she put into action her beliefs. And I just think that's already very powerful. She says at some point, um, I I built my entire career on the on the no's that I've received. Mm. Uh, you know, it was her strength. What then would you say is the one gift that she gave you in this journey of playing her, getting to know her? There's just some phrases that stay with you. Um, what gift did Mother Cabrini give you in this moment? Um, yeah, the one the one sentence, the one line that I always use is. Um, you can serve your purpose or you can serve your weakness. We look forward to seeing you play this role and bring Mother Cabrini back to life. Thank you. The movie on the life of St. Francis Xavier Cabrini opens Friday, March 8th, International Women's Day.